You say once gay, always gay. Uh -uh. We're going by activity. If you're not gay, you're not gay. If you're not doing gay things, you're not gay. There's not dormant gay people. <laughs> I'm just saying. Not really. Not really. There's not dormant gay people. Okay? So, that being said, um, some, of, some of them will probably be straighter than you. They'll turn out to like women more than you. For the women, they might turn out to like men more than you do. So, that being said, you know, let God be God. You don't need to work out anybody's sexuality, to be honest with you. Not even the pedophiles. And I'm going to tell you why you don't need to try to work out a pedophile's sexuality. Because you got 44 states married children. You need to go clean up your own community with these people having sex with children and your government passing laws to have sex with children. You don't need to clean up gay people's sexuality and you don't need to clean up pedophile sexuality. You don't need to be doing nothing when it, as Americans with this sexually charged nation. That part. All this twerking and all this stuff going on and you trying to seriously clean it up. Not touching that. You know how many kids see these twerking videos? I'm going to do a video. I'm going to do a video on that too. All these twerking videos, all this booty shaking, these kids are exposed to girls shaking their butt all on videos. They shouldn't be seeing nothing like that. You want to talk about what kids should be exposed to, then we got to cover the whole thing. We got to cover the lyrics in these songs that these kids be listening to. We got to, if you, yeah, this is all part of cleaning it up. You can't just be going out to the pedophile when you got booty shaking music. And booty shaking uh, videos with and the kids seeing uh, 15 inch booties in their face. You got 15 inch booties in kids' face. And so now they have premature sexuality. Hey, they're, they're human. You shake your butt all in their face. You don't think those videos get back to kids? Man, some kids, their parents don't even monitor their phones. Their kids don't even monitor their phones. You got, you got, yeah, you're strict on your kids. There's some kids that's eight, year, eight years old, nine years old. They don't got no monitoring of their phones. They keep, their parents are too, too ghetto. They buy their kid a phone for Christmas just to occupy the kid's mind so the kids are shut down, shut, uh, shut down and, and look at the phone. And when they go to sleep, they learn. And when they get around their cousin, the cousin show them the other porn sites and show them things they could go to. They show them TikTok. Hey, the kids want to go on TikTok because it's popular. And then they start going through the videos and they see booty shaking. They see all this booty shaking. Booty probably stank too. Hey, I'm sure all of them ain't fresh. <laughs> I'm sure all of them ain't fresh. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, so if you wanna if you wanna clean up, you wanna clean up pedophilia, you gotta clean up the culture also that exposes children prematurely to sexuality. And I'm just keeping it 100. So in other words, you can't just go out to the pedophiles, you gotta go out to all the sexual explicit stuff that children could be exposed to. I'm just showing you. You can't be fake. You can't, that's why I got to do a video on being versus keeping it real and keeping it 100. It's a big difference. It's a big difference between keeping it real and keeping it 100. When you keep it 100, you're going to cover everything. You're going to keep it 100%. When, when you say keeping it 100, that means keeping it 100%. And if you're keeping it 100%, you got to talk about all these videos, these children having phones, unmonitored. They into porn more than you. Especially when they become teenagers. Come on, man. You ain't trying. You think these cool parents that want to be cool with their kids monitoring these teenagers' phones? You think they monitoring the kids' phones? 
You know they're not. A cool parent? Yeah, I got you a phone, an iPhone, and then don't let the little girl be like kind of in her feelings. She's just trying to make sure our, our, our mean little girl, like 13, 14, the little mean little 14 girls, the quiet ones, the mean ones, they get their way. That's the manipulation. They act like that and they get their way. And the parent ain't gonna and the parent ain't gonna do, do nothing but want to see them happy. So they just let them have their phone. They don't take their phone. They don't do that. Man, you think all these Americans that buy their chi- that buy their children's phones at 13 and 14 and 15 and 16. All the teenage years. Let's just cover all the teenage years. You think these parents are taking their phones at the end of the night? You think they're taking their kids' phones at the end of the night? Use common sense. The average American parent is not taking a teenager's phone. And do you think teenagers are not going online and watching porn? By the way, if you just buy a phone, it can go straight to the porn site, you know. It doesn't detect if you're a kid or not. Yeah, I know. You didn't think about this. Why you shouldn't have worried about pedophiles? You got a whole phone culture that's exposing children to all the everything. That's what it is. It's a whole different generation. See, we used to have to sneak and watch DVDs and, and, and VCR tapes. That's what we used to have to do. These days, the kids go on the phones and they see everything they want to see. And they and they parent and they and their uh and their peers will show them all the sites to show them all the stuff they want to see. Am I right or wrong? They go to so they go to school. You think they stupid? They go to school, get around their kids, the bad kids. The bad kids watch all the porn. Man, come on, come on now. Use common sense. So why you think kids are not exposed to stuff? They are. They are exposed to it through the phone generation. Through the phone generation. So you you so. You, so, look, you, it's already done, man. That's why the times is in winding up. And you sitting up here thinking you're protecting children. Not from the phone. Not from all this stuff on the phone. You got all those websites. Them kids going to it. Make no mistake about it. They going to it. They going to it. And if they not going to that, they going to TikTok. With grown women that are not 13 and 14 are shaking all of their whole butt, putting their booty smell all in the air, fanning your booty around, putting it all in the air. You got a whole twerk community. You got a whole twerking community. And you don't think kids know about that? Man, you tripping. You tripping. Your whole, in other words, your whole American community of kids are exposed to twerking and the twerking culture, the sexual explicit culture that you're exposed to online. All that stuff you see, all the websites, the kids are going to it. All them views of certain videos, those are kids just watching that. Man, come on, man. You think that's all adults? When you, at least, especially for the boys, the 13, 14 year old boys. You don't think they watch? You you don't think they on their phone at the middle at the end of the night? Man, come on. So you already got a culture, American culture, that is exposing kids to, to you know, fully grown men and women. All you women that's doing these videos, children are watching your videos. That's why you got to be very very responsible for what you put out there, because kids are watching it. Right or wrong. So you ain't doing nothing, man. You hypocrites. You have a whole culture that allows children to be exposed to, to twerking and, and the twerking culture and the sexual explicit culture and everything like that. I'm, if, if, you, if the videos are going to be made, it's just still no way around it, man. It's just no way around it. Because kids are just too clever. They're going to find a way to think about it. They're not stupid. They're young. Not stupid, though. And eventually, 
they get into the porn. They get they get into some get get into it younger than others. They get into all the twerking culture, the tick, and you know, and all. And, and TikTok is not the only one doing it. It's, it's it's twerking culture all everywhere, all everywhere. It's all everywhere. It's been there. So if you want to clean, in other words, and I say all that to say this: if you want to clean up your, your, your you know, pedophilia. You got to clean it all up. You got to clean up all this stuff that kids are exposed to because they're still, in other words, for the slow people, they're still, after all, being exposed to sexuality. I'm going to let that resonate. So why you think you're stopping a pedophile, you're not stopping a website. Boom. You just stopped a pedophile, but you didn't stop a whole website. Like I said, if you think these kids are not watching these videos, then you, you, you're just one of those stupid, stupid parents that don't know no better. Little Johnny's just playing video games on his phone. <laughs> Until you leave the room at night. <laughs> Until you leave the room at night, little Johnny's doing that. But when you leave the room, little Johnny's watching all these these porn these porn things, just like other kids. Think about let's just, just let's just put it like this. Think about the time that you started watching porn. Let's keep it real. About fourteen. That's about it. That's about right. And fast as these kids are now, you don't think they're faster than that? Man, come on. On the average, most people start watching porn about fourteen. So what you think they doing on their phone? You know they got a phone at 14. Man, they trying to be cool with the cool kids. You know they got phones. It's common sense. And the cool parents, per se, are not are going to buy the phone for Christmas or the birthday or just randomly and have no monitoring over it over the phone. They don't even think about it. Some parents are stupid. They don't think about it. They're not thinking about it. And some don't care. <laughs> Just because you don't watch porn on there, on your websites, on the on your phone, don't mean the kids don't do it. Yeah, you relax to your sexuality. You, your good, your best sexuality, your best sex days are behind you. Your best sex days are behind you. And you get and you think you take that mentality like you relaxing with your phone and you think your kids doing the same thing. Because your sex days are behind you. I'm just keeping one hundred. And so you have a whole culture that's exposing kids to sexuality. They expose them to it. So you can't even so you can't even so until you do that and change the 44 states also that's marrying children, we don't want to hear from people like you. We don't. I don't care. Because I know that you're a hypocrite. I know that you're not doing anything. I know that it's a whole culture that's still influencing your children while you think you're doing something. You ain't doing nothing. You ain't doing nothing. And honestly, it ain't nothing you can do. Not about the phones. Not about the internet. People got laptops too. Man, ain't nothing you can do about that. They got tablets, laptops. Kids even get tablets to play the games. They can go on the internet with the tablet. It ain't got to be a phone. Yeah, you're slow. Your whole culture is exposing children to it. To sexuality before the time. The whole culture is doing that. And ain't nothing you can do about it. These kids already turned out, in other words, from their phones. From their phones. They're turned out from their phones. Seeing everything that you see. Yeah, what you gonna do about that? What you gotta say about that? <laughs> yeah, I know. You're speechless, ain't you? Speechless. Nothing but suckers sitting up thinking you're doing something. You ain't doing nothing but causing more problems in the world. That's all you're doing. (laughs) 
sitting up here harassing and bashing gay people when you got a whole phone culture that's influencing kids sexually and kids losing their sense of innocence because they got a phone. Kids are losing their sense, their innocence from phones, from telephones. You would never thought you would see the day where kids lose their innocence, their sexual innocence from telephones. Because remind you, we just got screens on phones. There were not screens on phones in the 80s, in the 90s. There were not screens on the phones. So if I told you in the 80s and the 90s, kids are going to lose their sexual innocence from telephones, you're going to be like, what? What does that mean? Are they going to be talking to people on the phone? Well, no. We're in the future now. There's videos on the phone, on the telephone. There's cameras on the telephone. There's a thing called the internet on the telephone. See, I win and you lose. Because you, you know what, you haven't, you haven't been real about doing any of this, any of this type of thing for so long, and the phones are the proof. The phones are the proof. The videos on the internet is the proof. You have, you, you. It's too late to try to clean up this country. It's over. It's too late. Yeah, you, this is a whole culture. I can show you movies. I can show you suggestive movies for kids. I can show you, show you suggestive everything for kids in this culture. Suggestive movies, music, everything. You don't want to go down that path. You don't want to go down the path of suggestive things towards children. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do it. I, I show you the music. I show you the movies. I show you everything. You want to get? You want to become like? Do you want to do that? then you need to kick rocks and realize your whole culture is saturated with sexuality and that sexuality is presented to children. So in other words, you're still losing the battle in preserving the innocence of children sexually. Hey, it's just an educated assumption. Why you say I'm retarded? Look at your country. Yeah, a retarded person can't do this, baby. You got 44 states married children. Your whole country didn't know about it. Your whole country didn't know. You got 44 states married children. Your whole country didn't know. Some will say, well, I'd rather be that man. Y'all call yourself competent and smart. How are you competent when you go to school and go back and you don't even know your country is marrying children? You're not competent to me. Can't be serious. Can't be serious. You're not competent to me. Yeah. Can't be serious. That's a joke. Now you find somebody who finds you to be a joke. <laughs> okay, it's what it is. Man, you can't you think I'm taking you seriously. And you got 44 states married you. Bro. Mm. Ain't nothing you ain't nothing known unknown known to man that you're not doing here in America. Ain't nothing. It's all being done here. In fact, you have the world record for the lowest age of consent worldwide. You got the work record, buddy. Big bay bay. Big bay bay. Yeah, I know you don't like it. But ain't nothing you can do about it. You're gonna die slow. <laughs> man, it's how it is, man. You take no prisoners. You take no prisoners. You kick butt, take names in the morning. Or in the evening, however you want to do it. <laughs> you ain't playing no games, bro. You playing games. 44 states up here playing games. You ain't putting no pressure on me. The Illuminati, that little dumb group, all they doing is riding around. You realize what mess you in now? You realize what mess you in? 
bro, you can't fight your way out of a pay, out of that situation. To me, you can't fight yourself out of a paper bag. In my in my world, in my world, you couldn't fight your work yourself out of a paper bag. You paper tiger, you. You are a paper tiger. COVID nineteen is not a paper tiger, by the way. Man. <laughs> yeah, that's not a paper tiger. <laughs> That would not be a paper tiger. What will be a paper tiger is the Illuminati riding around when they got COVID and monkeypox and they just driving around like it's a carnival outside. That's a paper tiger. That's not doing anything to me. Then you're in my in, in my world, you're a paper tiger. <laughs> I'm just calling it like I see it. Bruh. You think it's getting to me, and it's not. How's it getting to me when I get constant results? Hey, I'm encouraged by seeing you die. So how am I discouraged? How am I depressed when you're losing? Hey, I know it hurts. But it's 100. That's 100. You think, you think, because you formed, you think because you formed a carnival outside, that that means you bad. That's how I see it. Then you got a carnival outside. Hey, there's also Disneyland out there, you know. It's out there somewhere. <laughs> hey, Disneyland is out there somewhere, huh? Yeah. Just because you built the carnival don't make you bad. Like I told you. You think I'm outnumbered, but you're outranked. So you got a whole bunch of little men. I just slap them all silly, basically. Hey, that's what's happening. I'm slapping silly, your little men. That means you're outraged. Illuminati. I call you salami. <laughs> you're salami. That's the salami group. You little salami bastards. Man, that shit. What you doing? That stuff you doing, man. Bro. Only a kid would be scared of that. <laughs> I'm just being real. Only a kid. Like, it's not literally doing anything. And it's too late now. Like, COVID is here. That's the means to the end of your country. And if it's not... Uh, you don't feel like that applies to you because it's not necessarily your country. It applies to your playground. This little playground you got out here? You like to run around and dance around and hoop and holler like crazy people? Um, that's been put to an end. Hey, it's an educated assumption. Your playground is infested with, your streets are infested with monkeypox, COVID-19. So if we don't get you, we get the playground. And up, we get the gas prices. Look at the gas prices. So we get in the playground. We get the gas prices. We got inflation. Everything's going up in prices. We tear your playground up. It's the perfect strategy that God is doing. Hey, if we can't get you, we'll get your playground. No pun intended. We'll get your playground, buddy. Oh, you didn't, now you see where we're going with this, don't you? Yeah, tearing the whole country up. What you gonna do after that? Where you gonna go after that is the better question. <laughs> See, you thought you had it all figured out. You thought, well, it ain't happening to us. But it's happening to your environment, though. It's happening to you. Am I lying? Am I fabricating it? Am I fabricating it? Their, play, their playground is messed up, right? Then I'm not fabricating anything, right? Hey, shouldn't have messed with us. Yeah, you played the game. And if you try to touch me, we'll take you out quicker. See what happened to the last guy that put his hands on me? You got mass shootings and you got monkeypox. What did he get, Johnny? Well, they got monkeypox. It's coming to a nation in the city near you. <laughs> got inflation. 
We got inflation. Yeah. You don't play with people like me. When I tell you to kick rocks, that's exactly what you do. Not half of what you do, that's exactly what you do. And if you want beef, we'll end it tonight. You play no games. If you want beef, we'll end it tonight. You should be glad you're still alive. <laughs> that's real. You want beef? We'll end it tonight. That's what I'm looking forward to. The day you think it, you think you can play with me, and that's the day this whole all ends. Seen the last time somebody put hands on me? See what happened to him? Let's let's do a review. Let's do a review. The last time you put hands on me was April 30th. Two men staged a jumping and punched me, right? By May 30th, a day before my birthday, my birthday is May 31st, you had monkeypox and two mass shootings. And the mass shootings were so big, they didn't, it was, it was, it was compared to the what's the Sandy Hooks shooting? It was compared to that. That was the last thing that happened like that. So it wasn't a mass shooting that has already been happening recently. And monkeypox is definitely something that hadn't happened recently. So you had that in a month's time after putting hands on me. Monkeypox ain't just, it does, that's not a, this, something that just pops up. You don't know how to read the writing on the wall, do you? I'm going to show you, though. I'm going to show you so you can sh see how you're defeated. Yeah, people know that. You play with me, you die. I ain't playing with you. I don't care where you come from either. I promise you I don't. I don't care what country you come from. I don't care what ethnicity you are or nationality you are. It don't matter. You're a human being, and if you jump up and play with me, I'm going to put you right back on your back. I'm going to put you right on your back. And now you know that. I'm saying this for your benefit. You might think I'm being tough, arrogant, macho. You might, I'm not being any of that. I'm telling you this for your benefit. Because you, and really, to show you I'm winning. You're not winning. That's what I'm really showing you. That's one of my motives. You're not winning. You put hands on me. You got COVID. You, got, you already got COVID because, remind you, these people were playing games before COVID. That's what they really don't want to tell you. That's our little secret. <laughs> That's our little secret. That they was playing these same games before COVID came. You put two and two together. God had enough of it. He sent COVID. Yeah, I know. I know. It's a hard pill to swallow. But they was playing games before COVID. Oh, definitely. Years. A couple years before COVID. I count. Yeah, easy, easy, very easy. And then you got COVID. And now you got the monkeypox. You want to turn up some more? You want some more? Because this ain't no game. This is not no movie. That's the difference between me and you. I'm dead serious and you, you playing games. That's why people ain't playing with me because you know why? You know why I don't have no problems? You know why people ain't angry with me? People in their right minds? You know why people in their right minds ain't angry with me? You know why? Because they see that I'm I'm serious and I'm not about no games. I'm not I'm not engaging in the game that you're engaging in. That's why they not now if I was out here goofy as you, doing the stuff out there on the sidewalks like you're doing, <laughs> like I don't know. Yeah, I know. I know it's making it's speeding up the, the death process in your country. Every day you're out there, you're getting it. Look at your news. It ain't a day off. Are you getting a day off? Then if you were smart, you would assume that it's all backfiring and you're getting it back daily. 
Okay? You're getting it back daily. Okay? Why you think you're not, you are. Then why it ain't days off on the news then? Why every day is like a horror movie on the news? Because you're getting it all back instantaneously. Look up the word instantaneously. Look up the, look up the word. See, what's going to happen is a great event is going to happen. And you're all going to be put subject to this, this great event. And it's going to move you out of my way. This is, what, this is what has to happen. Because you can't see that you're already defeated. COVID is already a means to an end. It's a slow kill for your whole country. It's a slow kill. A fool, a blind man can see that. A blind man can see your country is turned upside down. Since COVID, more stuff has happened. So if you think this is entertainment, that's why you're going to die quicker. This ain't, man, we ain't playing no entertainment games, bro. Man, y'all all can die tonight as far as I'm concerned. You know, hey, I'm one of those radical Christians. You can die tonight. You can die tonight as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> That's real. And, it's, and, and if we had other Christians that been like this, that, that were like the old school, because when I look at the Bible, man, God's people don't play with evil people. They don't play with people. I, I'm, I'm looking at the Bible, not these preachers, not these, these American preachers that don't preach the whole Bible anyway. I ain't talking about them. I'm talking about the Bible itself. When I look at them, people die when they play with these people. That's what's happening to you too. Yeah, you thought I was a little church guy. You thought I was a D 